Hi there, Renee Asia of Low Massachusetts. I'm going to talk about strong women speaking up. And we all know what happened to Joan of Arc, right? Um, Joan is my middle name. I kind of have a lot of passion for it. I'm half French Canadian. Um, I have two aunts, one on each side of my family. The Greeks had both named Joan. So I always grew up with the story of St. Joan of Arc. And I thought this was going to be the most heroic Catholic woman. I'm a, I phrase a very nominal Catholic, but you know the stories of the saints. Everybody knows what happened to Joan of Arc. And realized she was actually not this heroic woman, but a humbled, ordinary young woman being called by God to speak up. To speak up. And this is a silent movie called The Passion of Joan of Arc. I'm only halfway through, but it's only an hour. It's free on YouTube. I'm going to put a link in there. And if you are a woman, a Catholic woman, and a guy, of course, you want to see like what the Catholic faith really means to women. Because I was seeing this weird trad wife grift that, you know, exploiting my Catholic faith. No, 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 no. That the trad wife stuff has nothing to do with Catholicism. Nothing. And I say this as somebody who's a stay-at-home mother, somebody who's worked at home, somebody who's raised four kids, somebody who's volunteered in the community, who's volunteered at the school. We are not doormats. We are not non-playing characters. We will use our assets, our financial literacy as needed. You know, my husband, like, even though I make significantly less than my husband, you know, we need to open up a home line of credit. And he comes to me, we're having a conversation about, I know, really boring financial stuff, right? But the fact that he comes to me and he trusts my financial judgment. Don't you want a wife with good financial judgment and literacy? But, you know, these, I am the pillar of the family, as I say, right? We are pillars of the community. We are strong supports. We are not subservient, never you know, we ask a lot of questions, good questions, not nagging, relevant concerns, feedback. So this is uh, the passion of Joan of Arc. And this, if you are feeling with the gender discussion and everybody's exploiting the gen, like the anti-woke stuff, the like I'm not a fan of the woke stuff, right? We all had criticisms and concerns, but you see like the anti-woke just driving clickbait. It's just trash. The anti-woke is not intellectual discussion. It is an exploitation of gender of itself. So like the queering of gender was destroying what the lines of what men and women are. And on the far right, the is such a mess. You can see my other videos about how people I trusted only were found out to be exploiting the gender issue, specifically the families of gender dysphoria. And that angers me as somebody with a background in child welfare. So this is The Passion of Joan Arc. Let's watch. I think they're talking about Saint Angel of St. Michael here. And angels have no gender, by the way, because they have no physical bodies. Now I'm talking about why she's wearing men's clothes. This is good. Come on, I don't think she doesn't address herself. Ooh. Her response is coming up. The silent film is very good. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right. I love you all. Take care.